Uh, as some of you most know, the crank pulley bolt is put on by pretty much He-Man. Hey, welcome back to my channel. Today, we have the start of the fun. Um, basically, uh, I don't know if you've been following my channel a bit, you know I've had a few issues with my friends on the Civic EP3. A few, well, about a year and a half ago, obviously the compression was a little low, and we sort of like felt that there was some, some underlying issues, we didn't know if it was the head or not. Um, but we've tested it got it tested at a garage uh, about a month ago now and obviously one of the pots is very low compression compared to the others she's got another car that she can use at the moment now so this one's in the garage so now I've got time to be able to uh, start stripping it back and take the head off and see what the issue we've got uh, whether it's going to be scrap engine or maybe rod piston job uh, rings uh, or even maybe the head uh, might need work doing to it. It might be a cracked or a burnt um, valve, possibly. So we'll see what we get when we get in there. Uh, but yeah, so I don't know how far down in the engine I'm going to get today. Uh, I've got an hour or two uh, to play about, so I'm just going to start draining the oils out, uh, draining the coolant, start getting the intake off. Uh, taking off the ancillaries, bits and bobs like that, start breaking down into it. So uh, I might see if I can set my other camera up um, and kind of do like a time lapse or something, but we'll, we'll see how well it turns out anyway. So yeah, let's get cracking. struggle with a uh, bolt then if and that get the breaker bar out <laughs> because my friend come back and they're a bit camera shy so and I forgot to turn it back on I just got carried on with it um, I've just got the the timing mark on the crank pulley is just not there anymore so I've put it to compression on cylinder one to top dead center which I believe I'll have to check on that but I believe that's basically the same position by rights. I'll know when I take the pulley off because where the woodruff key is for the pulley, uh, that should be pointing at the 12 o'clock, which is basically where the time and mark should be on the actual pulley wheel. So we'll see anyway. Um, oh. But yeah, uh, loads look all right. Cams in general look pretty decent. Uh, cars, I think, on 140,000 mile, which is pretty decent. Uh, looks relatively clean. Obviously, I had a new cam chain put on. Um, oh, when was that? Was that would have been about seven, eight months ago? And obviously, that looks pristine still. So, um, but yeah, I'm just gonna uh, do the usual. I'm gonna get all the chain off. I was gonna just hold it on a bungee so it held on the bottom cog. But to be honest, I'm going to have to take the time and chain cover off anyway to get the head off. Um, so I just thought, you know what, I'll end up probably doing it properly when I put it back together. And just setting the time and chain like I would do, like I did on my Evo. And just set it up properly. Um, obviously I'm not looking forward to uh, taking all the, uh, the cam lobes and everything off. The cams out, because... Um, I've got some food bags to keep them all uh, all together, well technically all separate and obviously I can label them up where I've took them from so I can put them back from where they are because uh, I know that's important 
uh, because I've obviously the tolerances and that that it's made with the wear on that particular lobe and stuff. But yeah, it's uh, it's a long job. It's going to be a long one, but. Like I said, my friend's got another car, so it means that I can take my time with it. Um, they're currently saving for whatever problem they've got as well. So we'll see when we get into it. But I reckon with the low compression about a year and a half ago, the compression wasn't fantastic. And then it's obviously, I think it's just got worse. Uh, and it's just got to the point now where... The engine's just not happy at all. It's running, it's running on three, then four, then three, then four quite often. So the compression is just not there. Um, I'm hoping it's nothing to do with the head, because having to get head work is going to be a ball ache. Um, obviously, if the pistons look in mint condition, uh, well, it's mint condition. If the rings clearance is really good and there's no really reason why the compression should be low on the cylinders and the walls look nice then obviously it's something to do with the head um, I'm hoping it's to be honest it's, it is what it is it's which, whichever one it decides to be it doesn't really matter so alright I'll put that together Yeah, as you can see, managed to get it all off in one, uh, which is quite handy. Um, it just you just need to kind of pinch it uh, when you when you're picking it up. You need to push it together as well as pick it up to try not to let it fall apart. But I'm going to now pick that up and put it around the back of the garage. Hopefully, if I can get in uh, to put on the table so it doesn't get touched or or moved or anything like that because uh, I don't really want to be building it all this up because you've got little pins in here that are under pressure uh, as well as there's going to be a fair bit of oil poly still in it so but that's that out so all I've got left to do is oh it's not very bright actually uh, is take the manifold out and then obviously it's uh, head studs job after that but yeah we should be cracking right well, let's get back to it
Hey guys, so um, the next weekend uh, we had a bit of a snag um, with the uh, the teardown. Uh, as some of you most know, the crank pulley bolt is put on by pretty much He-Man um, or, or Captain America because it's talked down to the sheer fucking high heavens. Right, so I've got one of these um, which does do some great talk, but as you can see, I have just a normal impact socket on it. So, have a look at this. Right, that's the thing, which is a, let me move this out of the way a bit, uh, which is an 18 mil. Right, so it's a 19 mil socket. Um, and as you can see, that will not come off. Right, so, uh, let me get up. Right, so what I did was, while I was waiting for the weekend to come around again, I bought a harmonic 19mm socket. This thing weighs a good, probably pound, pound and a half. Um, I would say, I haven't weighed it or anything, but obviously the difference between the sockets, as you'll see, is a good bit different. Right, this is solid, obviously, as you can see, it's not doesn't it's not a hole all the way down, it's just literally a solid weighted. Right, the purpose of that is it can put more torque through to the socket from the, the, the actual what's name. So I'm hoping that this on its own can get the actual bolt off, so we'll see. So, hope so, because I don't want to have to buy a locking, a locking, um, the Honda locking uh, part and then brace that and then get like a massive torque bar out here on an axle stand and a fuck off bar to get the bloody brake the thing, because I don't like doing that because it, it just feels like you're just putting way too much power on it. So, right, uh, I'm going to try and do it with one hand and record it and we'll see if we can get it off without breaking my fucking wrist. So let's, let's see. There we go. As you can see, off it comes. As you can see, it's actually come off quite nicely with that. Um, I did feel, um, I did feel the uh, torque on the wrist when I actually started it was completely different as well. It did feel like there was, it was putting more power in. Um, so yes. Uh, but it's a it's a hefty bolt. But yeah, they're 19 mil. Um, they're about 20, 25 quid. Obviously, I paid 30 for mine because I wanted it quick as I could, and it does take a while to come. But if you if you are planning on doing a timing chain, or basically stripping it down and stripping that part off, then it is recommended to buy one. Um, so yeah, um, it's uh, definitely worth investment. But anyway, right. At least I can crack back onto it now. Because uh, basically we were a bit stuck on that because I couldn't really do anything else. So, but yeah, anyway, I'm going to uh, probably switch to the other camera. Possibly, depends if my friend's going to help me because they're a bit camera shy. So we'll see where we go. Until then, let's crack on. Basically all the parts for the timing chain, what I'm doing, I just put them in food bags. Obviously I'll keep the kind of oily residue on them. I'm probably going to re-put a bit of oil, fresh oil in there just to kind of make sure it's got plenty. But at least that way all the timing stuff is in there. Uh, same with the cam caps, uh, I've done the same thing. I'll show you look basically each cam caps numbered so that's the easiest way of doing it and I've just kept them in the the actual holes they're in and then obviously I know what cam is they're like this is a third the centre cam cap only because I know it's because it's that way as well the little eight mil uh, a little ten mil sorry um but yeah it's a good way of doing it food bags dead cheap covered with wood and it obviously keeps them moist a little as well so they don't tend to get any surface rust on them so Anyway, right. I think we're about ready to take the head off. Yeah, uh, as soon as I let go of the jack, I should be able to pry that off. 
As soon as I lift the head, that'll slide off. Hopefully. <laughs> anyway, right, I need to wait for my friend to come back because uh, they'll want to obviously see me take the head off. Um, so I won't probably, probably film that bit, but I'll, what I'll do is I'll, I'll catch up and I'll film um, just after. Uh, and I'll see, see So, we'll get back to you.